The COVID-19 crisis thrusts some metro churches into a technology crisis they're still working to overcome. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom has that story. Ready or not, when the coronavirus hit and social distancing rules went into effect, church leaders, used to preaching from pulpits, were instantly forced to change. There have been many churches that have live streamed all along, but we weren't one of them. Pastor Ray Stewart of Grace and Truth Baptist Church in Independence jumped feet first into unfamiliar territory. I did the first stream in front of my computer with just my phone, and I was very close to it. And it came out, the teaching material was good, but the visual was not so good. All right, Pastor Ray, how are we doing today? Enter technology guru to the churches, Lissandro Gonzalez, a staff pastor at Inglesia Bautista, Living Word Baptist Church in Northeast Kansas City. A few coaching sessions later, and Pastor Ray is feeling like a pro. I've learned how to put uh, a beginning on it, put an ending on it, add music to it. What is the moment like when people get it? I think it's exciting. I think that people, once they start realizing now, they say, oh, now I can call so and so. On a typical Sunday, 100 people attend his church. Palm Sunday online, he had more than a thousand views. We have become so accustomed to having church in a building that we assumed that that was the way, the way to do it. But God has opened an entirely new door for us. Now this social media latecomer is a new convert to combining the spiritual and virtual. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. 41 Action News will broadcast different religious ceremonies on Sunday since many folks cannot attend their normal services. On 41 Action News, we will show the Church of Resurrection service at 11 a.m. Sunday. Other services will broadcast on our sister station, 38 The Spot, otherwise known as KMCI.